Hi, I'm Rebecca Ross, and I'm going to walk you through your health care options when you face job loss. I would like to share with you three options available under group insurance that you may obtain. The first one is COBRA. It gives employees in certain situations the right to pay premiums for and keep the group health insurance that they would otherwise lose after they reduce their work hours, quit their jobs, or lose their jobs. Upon your separation from your employer, you may have certain rights depending on the size of your employer, the status while working, and if you are covered by your employer's health, dental, or vision plans. If you're eligible for COBRA, your employer's plan administrator will send to your home address a COBRA election packet. They have 14 days from separation to notify you. This packet will tell you what benefits you are eligible to continue, the cost, the time frame to apply, and when your first premium is due. COBRA premiums are expensive and can be a shock when you first see the cost. That is because you will be paying 100% of the retail cost your employer pays, plus a 2% administration fee. COBRA could be an option for you if you need the network of doctors you are currently using along with the benefits you are accustomed to receiving. Don't forget your accumulated out-of-pocket expenses such as your deductibles and coinsurance you may have already paid to date need to be considered. Please pay close attention to your deadlines to enroll and pay. These are hard deadlines. A second option is under your spouse's employer plan. Should your own spouse work and have coverage, you may be eligible for health, dental, and vision coverage due to your own qualifying event. If you have not already, you may wish to call your spouse's employer human resources department or refer to your spouse's company policy handbook or summary plan description. There is a deadline to notify your spouse's company and enroll. Be sure to understand the benefits and cost of being added to the plan. And finally, the third option under group insurance is if you are under the age of 26, you may be eligible to apply for health, dental, and vision coverage under one of your parents' employer plans. You do not have to live with your parents be single, or be enrolled in college. However, if you have a spouse and or children, they would not be eligible to have coverage with you under your parents' plan. There is a deadline to add you as their dependent due to your own loss of coverage, so they would have to act on your behalf. Okay. What about your options in the private marketplace for individual comprehensive health and dental insurance plans? These policies are ACA compliant and meet all federal requirements. Your loss of health insurance coverage through your employer qualifies you to buy full comprehensive health and dental insurance one of two ways. The first is on the Oklahoma Federal Exchange and the second is directly from a licensed insurance company during a 60-day window. If you miss this window, you will have to wait for the annual open enrollment period, which runs from November 1st through December the 15th. This provision applies both to the Oklahoma Federal Exchange or off the exchange from a licensed insurance carrier, agent, or broker. This is a very tight application window, only 45 days. The Oklahoma Federal Exchange can be found on healthcare.gov and you may visit this website to see if you are eligible for premium tax credits or subsidies which help reduce your health insurance premium and out-of-pocket expenses. You do not have to apply to see if you qualify, simply indicate you would like to shop available products followed by entering specific information. The plans you are eligible for will be provided. You can then apply. Remember, this is the only place you are eligible to receive federal subsidies for health insurance if you are eligible. Please note that Native Americans have a special eligibility provision. Uh, so please visit healthcare.gov or seek assistance at your tribal office, Indian Health Clinic, 
or licensed agent or broker who can assist you in enrolling on the exchange. Regarding income, you will indicate your unemployment income and any other source of income, not what you're making when employed. If your spouse is employed, you will have to include their income on your application, even if you are applying for self-only coverage. And if you are married, you will have to file a joint tax return for the coverage year to be eligible for subsidies. If your income changes during your coverage period, you are required to go on your account and update your income. This may affect your eligibility for premium tax credits or subsidies. The federal poverty level for premium tax credits or subsidies is 100% to 400%. See the federal poverty level income tables, which I have provided. Regarding health insurance carriers on the Oklahoma Federal Exchange, you currently have two carriers offering plans in all 77 counties, offering coverage in selected counties. This may change year to year. If you choose to buy off of the exchange and directly from a licensed insurance carrier, agent, or broker, you will be eligible to buy the same plans that you see on the Oklahoma Federal Exchange, but not federally subsidized. That is, you will pay the full retail premium. All of these plans offered during either the special enrollment period or annual open enrollment take you as is, no health questions or pre-existing conditions apply. You will need to verify when coverage begins. Note, if you are wanting coverage without labs, be sure to apply before your current coverage ends. Everyone's coverage runs on the calendar year basis and everyone must re-enroll during the annual open enrollment period, even if you apply during a special enrollment period. There are other private individual health options that are not full comprehensive medical insurance, are not ACA compliant, and can exclude pre-existing health conditions as well as medically underwrite and decline you for coverage. These plans or short-term limited duration policies, which can cover a specific number of months, disease-specific policies, which covers cancer or other diseases, and indemnification policies, which may cover a specific amount for hospitalization or accident. For example, where you are paid up to the limits of the policy and you pay the provider yourself. A word of caution, understand before you buy the limits and what is not covered with these policies. Other health options are non-insurance plans such as discount plans, health care sharing ministry plans. A word of caution, understand before you buy as these plans are not regulated by the Oklahoma Insurance Department and could leave you with quite a bit of exposure. And what about public health options available in Oklahoma? You have the Veterans Administration for those who served in the military and Medicare for those who are 65 and older or are under age 65 and eligible for Social Security Disability. Sooner Care, which is Oklahoma's Medicaid program offering comprehensive medical, dental, and vision for dependent children under the age of 19. Some low-income adults with children may be eligible as well as the age blind and disabled adults. See mysoonercare.org for eligibility, benefits, or to apply. Income guidelines are provided. And the last public health option for those who are unemployed from any size employer and drawing unemployment is a program called Insure Oklahoma Individual Plan. This is Oklahoma's own public health care option for those under 100% of federal poverty level. It is provided through the Oklahoma Health Care Authority. Co-pays are low as well as monthly fees for coverage, if any. And you may find plan details, including eligibility, doctors, and how to enroll by visiting insureoklahoma.org. I hope I was able to provide you information that will help you make the best decision for you and your family. 
If you have further questions or need assistance, please be free to call the Oklahoma Insurance Department or me, I'm Rebecca Ross. Thank you very much.